Tucked away in the city of Kitchener, Ontario, is one of Canada's hidden gems. Dating back to the 1930s, Westmount Golf and Country Club is a classic parkland-style course that was designed by Stanley Thompson, one of Canada's top golf course architects. The pristine private club has been a perennial top 20 course in the Score Golf Top 100 ranking, yet it's often overlooked when Thompson's other noted works, St. George's, Highlands Links, Capilano, Fairmont Banff Springs and Fairmont Jasper Park are cited. That might be due to its location, far from big cities or golf travel destinations. Regardless, Westmount is a fantastic course that every serious golfer should try to play. It's uh, just an unbelievable golf course. You're always, you hit it in the same spot, you think uh, day in, day out, and you never have the same lie twice. It's very tree-lined, but it's, uh, it's not uh, high brush or not a lot of fescue or things like that. There's a reason that Westmount ranked 12th in our 2014 Top 100 ranking, and some claim that it deserves to be higher. With the Thompson name comes a deep-rooted history, and quite simply, a gorgeous golf course. Stanley Thompson, um, generally you, you get uh, green and tees next to each other and, and that's what you find here. Uh, it's a great place to walk. Um, true Stanley designs uh, are, are very easy. You don't need carts to get around and just a great walk. Westmount's beautiful fairways, towering trees and amazing layout showcase a stunning setting. But it's the greens that may be its best possession. Always rolling fast and true, Green complexes are simple in nature, but often quite large, relying on plenty of undulation and multiple surrounding bunkers as its primary defense, a characteristic of many of Thompson's designs. The greens really do, do defend the course. You have to really have a great imagination when you're putting on these greens, because you, you will have uh, breaks of uh, 10, 12 feet easily. It can be uh, really, really uh, tricky. And uh, just, uh, it, it, I just go back to the imagination. If, you got, if you're a good putter, you'll love it, because it's a lot of fun. Accuracy is crucial off the tee, as towering maple and pine trees border almost every fairway on the course. This provides an extra challenge to the already uneven and rolling fairways, making shot selection of the utmost importance. Yet another trait of Thompson's designs is letting the land dictate the layout, and you can see that with numerous bumps and rolls throughout this course. With this added challenge, Westmount still stands as one of the best member courses in Canada, and like all Thompson courses, the track is playable by all skill levels. It's the big trees, it's the rolling terrain, you know, built in 1931 when they didn't have bulldozers to shape everything. Um, the tough greens, they are certainly tricky and uh, you get above the pin and you're, you're pretty defensive. Uh, there's a lot, a lot of things to like about it. One of its best greens can be found on the fourth, a final test after an already strong hole. Number four is uh, just a, a great par four, slight dogleg left, a little bit of a, a blind drive. You have to really choose what club you're going to hit off the tee because you don't want to get too much past the 150. There's a big crown there and, and you get a really an, uh, a, a tough lie and then the tree line comes into play and into a demanding green that slopes uh, quite uh, severe from back to front and uh, makes for a very challenging shot into the green. If, if you don't hit, if you don't stay below the in there, you end up uh, turning a nice uh, par or birdie into a good bogey. While many holes can be considered Westmount's signature, the eighth hole stands as one of its best. A good drive on this short par four should leave golfers with a wedge into the green and a good chance at birdie, but that may be easier said than done. My favorite hole, yes, would be the eighth. It's a short par four that you can hit anything from a five iron off the tee to a driver. A lot of risk reward. The hole is surrounded by bunkers. Almost no matter what club you're hitting in, you've got a difficult shot and uh, you know a difficult par. Twelfth hole stands as a member favorite and is a hole that isn't often found on modern courses. While most par threes today often go for distance, this one keeps it short and makes accuracy into this large green crucial in order to avoid three putts and greenside bunkers. A short par three, and uh, again uh, elevated, uh, like many of Stanley Thompson's great par threes are elevated, and looking down on a great uh, green complex, uh, pleasure to play. There's nothing better than coming home to this picturesque 18th hole. With a wide fairway and only one green side bunker, finishing on a high note is a good possibility if you don't mind the extra pressure from the patio next to the green. With all eyes watching as you try to drain that last putt, you can't let hecklers get in your head. After shaking hands, it's hard to beat the walk straight to the patio for a few drinks and lots of laughs. 
Westmount has seen some elite talent grow with its club, most notably Canadian Golf Hall of Famer Gary Cowan. The noted amateur won events on both the provincial and national level and is the only Canadian to win two U.S. amateur titles. Mo Norman was also a regular at Westmount over the years, and the story goes that the club's short par 4 eighth was the only hole the legendary ball striker couldn't figure out how to play. Cowan's son Rob has also made a name for himself in the amateur golf world and will be looking for his 10th consecutive club championship title at Westmount this year. As well, 21-year-old national team member Chris Hemrick is an up-and-comer who hails from Westmount. This year, he won the Ontario Men's Amateur and competed in the RBC Canadian Open. I joined here when I took up golf. My dad grew up as a member out here as well, so uh, it was easy just to follow in his footsteps. It's been great growing up here and they've, the whole Westmount staff and members have been nothing but support. You're not going to lose many golf balls out here, um, but if you get yourself above the hole, it's like so, at some parts you get it 15 feet above the hole and if, if you're not hitting the hole on the way down, you're going to be 15 feet on the other side. So that's definitely the defense of the golf course and when they get them rolling and firm, it becomes a very challenging course. While many city clubs have small practice areas due to land restriction, Westmount offers a full range where you can work out your driver kinks before teeing it off. There's also a short game facility and an extensive staff of PGA of Canada professionals to help you out with your game. In addition to its top tier golf course, Westmount has four tennis courts and a six sheet curling rink, making it the perfect all season country club. Westmount might rank just behind Stanley Thompson's Big Five, and it might be overshadowed by some of Canada's big city clubs, but members know that this course is definitely among one of Canada's best works of art.